Hey guys, today we're looking at uh, Filson's Smoke Jumper wallet. Um, I cut this off already, took the receipt out, which makes things easier for me. But... So here's the Smoke Jumper Wallet by Filson. This is their Auto Green. It also comes in a dark tan. Uh, looks like it retails for $70. This material is their 14 ounce, 100% cotton uh, tin cloth. So it's basically a cotton material that has a wax to it. And this is nylon, how do you call it, webbing? Um, yeah, this is considered nylon webbing. Looks like it has uh, cash or like a larger item area there. Looks like one card sleeve, two card sleeves, and then that's a compartment there. That's a compartment there. Stitching looks pretty nice on here. It looks pretty minimalist. The wallet that I've been using is by Craft and Lore. And it's leather, I've had it for a couple years. It's just starting to wear down. And then it got pretty wet the other day. And I just wanted to replace it. My grandfather was a smoke jumper back in the 40s when the programs were first starting out. And this seemed like a, a nice solution for my problem and a nice sort of nod to him. Here's a one external pocket that goes all the way through. So successful from each side. On the outside, you can grab that. This tucks into there, it looks like. And there it is. Dimension-wise, it uh, looks like it's about five inches by somewhere in the range of three and a half, maybe three and three quarters. I think on the website it's listed as something like three and seven eighths. Uh, let's jump online real quick. So the description online says that this is the uh, tin cloth smoke jumper wallet, and it was developed at the request of firefighters. Our smoke jumper wallet is made of rugged oil finished tin cloth and lightweight nylon webbing. A fold over flap self closes into an exterior pocket for simple convenient carry. Uh, this comes with pretty standard care instructions for their tin cloth products. So you can see I'm gonna read that. Looks like a serial number or a manufacturer mark. I'll take this off because I'm gonna use it now that I've made a video. I'm gonna start carrying it. It's pretty lightweight on its own. I thought maybe it'd be kind of heavy. And from what it was looking like online, it's definitely bigger than I had originally been thinking for a frame of reference. All right, so we get this out of here. So it's not in the frame. Uh, for reference, here's a two random cards that are pretty generic. This is the Craft and Lore wallet that I was using before. And that's about how big the cards were in relationship to the wallet. Um, so it didn't take up a lot of space. This obviously is probably twice the size, if not maybe a little bigger. Um, Weight-wise, this is actually about the same as this leather wallet is, just because the leather being organic material, it's, it's pretty heavy. This definitely is uh, a pretty light package. If we open it up. I have more cards in this, but they all have personal information on them. But you can kind of see how it would fit everything. Looks like right there, that probably, the nylon doesn't have the wax as much, which is fine. It's not going to adhere to the nylon as much as it's going to adhere to the tin cloth. But yeah, this is the Smoke Jumper wallet. Uh, I'm really pleased with it. I'm going to try and make a little video or maybe an update, uh, update this video once I've carried it for a while. But that's the unboxing. So that's the 
Filson Smoke Jumper 10 cloth wallet. Hopefully you can see everything that it has. The features online say that it has four card slots, which would be one, two, three, and four, I would think, and one cash slot. Uh, it's listed as being water repellent and abrasion resistant because of the oil uh, tin cloth finish, which I've worn these uh, in hunting pants. It's the same material they use for a lot of their gear, like the duffels, the hunting pants, just a lot of the fuss and stuff. That's sort of one of their signature materials. And it is pretty abrasion resistant and uh, I've you know dragged it across rocks and stuff. So I'm pretty sure this double stitching will last as long, if not longer than this one did. It's still in okay shape, might use it as a backup wallet, but for now, this is gonna be the daily carry. Because of the size, I wouldn't wanna put a lot of stuff in here, which is nice. Um, I wouldn't wanna sit on it a whole lot either. So if you were in an office or something, I'd probably put this in your front pocket. Or if you're driving around in the truck, I'd probably take it out. The embroidery is pretty well hidden. You can see that's where the Filson name is and that's where they put the tag there. There's nothing visible on the back, which is kind of nice. Uh, even if there was, it started to like make an uh, indent. This is also there, which you could just cut that out. But yeah, the nylon webbing seems like it will wick pretty well and not cause any problems there either. All right, so with everything inside of it that I usually carry on a daily basis, you can see that's about how thick it becomes. Uh, it's probably right in the center, maybe a half inch, maybe a little bit thicker than that. This is like 10 cards in there. So I've got a couple cards in the sleeves, some stuff I don't use very often over here, and a couple things there. If you put you know, a couple bills in this area and close it up, Takes up maybe a half inch, maybe a little more in space. If you were running around all day, I think it would stay safe in your pocket and you wouldn't have any issues. With stuff in it, it's not like these are too tight to get stuff in and out of, which is nice. I don't know if you would put something over here on this side because you're, you might be tucking that flap in there so often, but if you wanted to, you could probably just go like that if you were moving around quickly. So this is the tin cloth smoke jumper wallet. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, want to see me open a bunch more Filson stuff because I always am buying Filson gear, or if you want to see me make things out of steel or review some random other gear, hit like, leave a comment about any questions you have, or click subscribe. Thanks.